Hello everyone, and welcome to another wonderful and full of potential Motivational Monday. It's full of potential because every Monday is a chance for us to learn a little bit more, if we so choose to do so. But of course, the important thing is making that choice. But of course, just as important as making a choice, it's also important to identify your goal, identify success and what exactly that means. Identify the finish line and what it truly means to have acquired what you desired. That's just as important, of course, as actually getting the thing done and getting it, and of course, wanting it to begin with. These are all important steps of success because identifying what you want will allow you to find it easier. And of course, staying true to that goal will help you feel more successful and accomplished when you do receive it. It's important to stick to your goals because sometimes along the way, as humans, we're fickle and our aspirations evolve. Sometimes we get a little bit too excited to potentially do more than what we could. We want to maximize, and maximizing, while I think is good and healthy, can sometimes lead to a bit of greed. And greed, of course, is one of the seven deadly sins. And the seven deadly sins are called just that because they can create quite a bit of despair in our lives if we feed too much into them. For instance, let's talk about the idea of you want to run a marathon and you're not even sure if you can do it to begin with. It's something you've never done, and it's going to be a real test of your physical ability. And then you do it. You start to run this race, and you realize, wow, I have a lot more stamina than I thought. I'm moving a lot quicker than I thought. You know what, instead of just finishing this thing, I wanna finish this thing in first place. And all of a sudden, your new goal has evolved from not just finishing it, but finishing it as fast as you can and better than anyone else. While I think that it's great to grasp out for more, and especially something like this would be a great way to boost your confidence and really test your mettle, it's not exactly healthy. Because say you do run the race, and say you finish in second or third, or what if you just finish in fifth because maybe you overshot your ability? One way or another, you may not succeed in that evolved goal that you picked up along the way. And that could create a bit more despair than you would like. You become disillusioned with what you originally wanted. Your original goal was just to get that race finished. You didn't care if you came in last or if you came in first, but then once you got a little bit full of yourself, you started to fly too close to the sun and then your wax wings began to melt. And we all know the higher Icarus flew, the more deadly it made his fall. So like I said, it's important to stick to your initial goal because if you just stay focused on the idea of finishing the race and you get it done and you prove to yourself you've been able to do something that you couldn't have done before, then that's great. And that's something to pat yourself on the back for. It's wonderful to be able to maximize and pick up more along the way. And if you can do it, I applaud you and you deserve all the accolades you receive for it. But stay true to your initial goal. Your raison d'etre should be just that. It's the reason that you're in this. It's the reason that you're trying to get this thing done. That is identified as your absolute goal. It's the pentultimate source of your joy when you do finish it, because you initially wanted that one thing. Now, once you got that goal, you could then begin to focus on changing that goal. Consider it like this. The next year that you run, you could say, you know what, this year I want to place, so I want to take either first, second, or third when I finish. You can condition yourself for that the next time. And of course, that will be your evolved goal as you have gone on and first proven yourself that one thing. But now it's your new initial starting goal. Say next year you do run and you run well and you do finish in record timing rather than just getting first, second or third place. Say you set a new record because you ran so much. Now you've maximized without even realizing you could do it. And that's far more rewarding. So like I said, make sure that you stick to your initial goal. That is your one thing that you're fighting for, and don't allow anything else to deviate you. If you stay focused on that one thing, this is like anything. If you just focus and really try at that one thing, even if you're not doing it perfectly, you'll eventually begin to do it better than you did it before, and maybe better than many other people in life, people that will aspire to be like you. Identify success. Visualize where the end is. Find the finish line and make that what you're fighting for. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please make sure to like the video. I'm going to link something right here and right here. So if you'd like to help the channel, please click them even if you've seen them. And remember, if no one else is there for you, these videos will always be here for you. Identify success and keep it in mind and stay motivated. Have an amazing week. 
I'll see you next time.